garage. Well, I'm out here with my little sick Mavi number two who's been involved in an accident and that is no fun. Um, if you've been following my channel, I had another video put up and I took that one down because honestly I was not fair to my son who's an employee that works for me. Um, I really kind of railed on him and it wasn't fair because um, I just would like to say this for sure. Uh, he is a very hard worker and it has a great work ethic. He doesn't complain about going out in the middle of the night and it wasn't fair for me just to, you know, treat him like a dog, I guess. Uh, so I'm redoing the video. Uh, yes, he still wrecked it. Yes, it was still a mistake, but um, I know that I, in the past, maybe at some point, made a mistake somewhere along the line. I don't really, I can't remember when. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to take that part out because you know what? Um, you have to appreciate people for who they are and realize that we're all going to make mistakes once in a while. So, and a little bit of time has passed, so I'm not uh, super upset about coming back from Italy to a wrecked vehicle. So, anyway, uh, I'm appreciative, but I'm not happy about the wreck. So, anyway, we're going to get it fixed. Uh, and also, he took responsibility. He said, I wrecked the truck and I'll pay for any damages. It was my fault. So, I mean, you got to admire... Um, somebody being a man about it. So that's where we're at. Uh, the first thing that I would say is the video that I did it for originally um, Taking everything out of the top. That's the incorrect way to do it um, The way this thing is made is it drops down from the top a as a module After you unhook every wire connector hose everything else down through the bottom the next video putting it back together will be more of a how-to video as far as like putting it back together uh, as far as taking it apart it's going to be basically the back uh, the opposite of that. Once you get all the uh, all the paraphernalia unhooked, it's really not that difficult. You got to jack up the front end, and I've lowered the back a little bit by letting the air out of the tires. Let's go back to the video where I'm taking it apart and also not uh, railing on my son. <laughs> Well, there's the damage. And here's what he hit. He said there was green stuff coming out, so I made him tow it. Indeed there is. You can see the fans got buckled. I don't know if the condenser's destroyed. That'll be interesting. Um, but the first thing I'm going to need to do is start taking the front end off of this thing to determine how bad it really is and it ain't good there's no grill here these are the louvers that are destroyed for the heating and air so those will have to be replaced awesome I went ahead and put it on roller jack because I don't know how long this is going to take to get parts and how long I'm going to have to get it fixed so I need to move it out of the way because blue over there I'm wanting to get that painted, but instead of painting that, I'm dealing with this. But let me get going on uh, starting taking this apart. I'm going to take off the front portion here, uh, and then I'm going to have to take off the bumper cover to get the front grill off. I'm excited. Okay, so it's true that a lot of times it looks worse than it is until you get into it. Now, I pulled this cover off, and I can see the antifreeze here, but in addition to that... I feel a very oily substance that almost uh, smells like refrigerant oil. So indeed, the condenser is toast also. So, so far we've got the radiator, condenser, grill, and I don't know about the fans, but it ain't looking good. Well, I got the front bumper off, and we'll take a look at it here in a second. That was a that was a fun experience, crawling around, finding all the bolts in there, and looks like between the 2002-2003, they put an extra bolt uh, in the front bumper cover. But I took a, the headlights off just to get them out of the way because I'm going to have to be dealing with that. Um, so let's take a look at what damage at this point, and then where I got to go from there. I love it. I got to pick up all the nuts and bolts now. We can see that the louver system is completely toasted. It's, there's nothing left of it. 
So that'll have to be replaced. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking out some bolts uh, for the radiator and the condenser assembly and we'll see how far we get with that. But uh, I, the bumper was no bueno. Now you can see here that this as well is toasted. I don't know if I can fix that or not, but it doesn't look like it. Um, you can see that the plastic fell down in there. Um, looks like it's missing, yeah, it's missing one of the veins. Jeez. The shutter system on this thing is very interesting. It just closes off and then it opens up when it starts warming up. You can see that you've got bottom louvers and you've got top louvers. Now the top louvers are freaking all gone. Um, are they connected to the bottom ones? I don't know! Um, but I, like I said, I am going to um, get the factory manual out. I can see here there's push pins here and just kind of have a gander of what they're saying I need to do to let's say like replace the radiator or replace these things here. Um, usually it'll give me a little bit better idea but I can tell you that all this crap is toasted. The fan, the condenser, the radiator, the shutter assembly, some plastic pieces in the front, the grill, and surprisingly enough there is no body damage whatsoever. It's all mechanical basically. So that's it. Now you might be wondering why am I going through all this effort? Why am I doing it myself? Well number one I got a YouTube channel that does uh, repairs on vehicles. <laughs> number two uh, if I take this to a body shop and say fix it then they're going to fix it. They're probably going to send it to a repair shop. Uh, truthfully they won't be really the ones that do it. They may take the front end off but that's all. Uh, and a repair shop will have to do the AC and all that stuff. Right, but then it will have, it will be tagged as a wreck. This truck has 7,000 miles on it. Then I really don't want to have a, a tag of being wrecked in the front once I get everything fixed in the front with all new parts. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at with this. Now, do I know how much it's going to cost? No, but every time I started taking something apart on this, I can tell you that the price was going up in my head. It's like, well, there's probably about another $400 and $800 and another $200. So I won't be surprised if this is a five dollars or $6,000 repair. I have to, at that point, decide, is it worth it to get it... Uh, to take it to a body shop or do I need to just go ahead and get the parts and fix it myself? There's no good answers on this when you toast a brand new vehicle, a 23, with all these weird parts on it. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not very happy. So I looked at the Ford factory manual and figured it out, figured out that, um, yes indeed, you work from the back towards the front, taking out the electric fan first. And it looks like it's actually okay. It spins fine. Doesn't look cracked, anything else wrong with it. So at least that's good. The electric fan is okay. Next thing is the radiator I gotta get out and the condenser. This is the radiator and the front's the condenser. So anyway. Yeah, so the radiator's in back and then the condenser's in the front and then there's another one down in there. So we'll see. Let me see if I can get this stinking radiator off. Here's where I'm at. These uh, transmission lines are a huge pain in the butt. Man, getting those off was major ordeal. Those sucked. Uh, and I've got some quick connects here. Two, three. Three quick connects and I'm hoping at that point I'll be close to pulling this stupid thing out of here. Awesome. Alright, that's going to be a good stopping point for tonight. I just don't have the gumption to do anything else on it uh, right this minute. I've got the transmission lines unhooked, two radiator hoses, and I still have the quick disconnects to do. Uh, I'll do a little more reading tonight. If you're like me and you got a job that's half finished, it just kind of eats away at you. Like, man, I need to get that done. So I came back over here early in, on Sunday morning to get the rest of this taken apart, and there's a few things that I discovered. Um, one, that uh, it's no fun to take this apart. It's, it's not intuitive. Uh, at all. There's a lot of nuts, bolts, connectors, uh, different uh, hose connectors, things like that. Second is this big black piece, the shutter assembly and the radiator, all that that holds everything. Um, that piece right there is designed to come out the bottom, not the top. So I had to jack it up pretty high to get it out of there. But obviously Ford designed this to be worked on at a dealership or a repair shop with a lift and not from the home mechanic. But let me show you um, what it looks like with everything off of it. 
Here's Mavi 2 with everything off. At least it's torn down and now I just have to get parts. So that's that's a so that is a bonus. There's your pump for the um just as a FYI, there's the pump for the hybrid system right there. I've never seen it because it's been covered up, but that's pretty cool. These actually turned out to be okay and not leaking. That's the transmission cooler and the two auxiliary coolers um, for the hybrid system. And I'll reuse those because they seem to be just fine. No leaks. I'm going to probably try to like put some pressure on that uh, radiator one. But it, there's, there was no fluid or anything out, so I think it was just fine. I straightened it up just a little bit. So those three should be fine. I've got to get a radiator, the um, the complete support, and the vein assembly, and the condenser and assorted um, refrigerant oil, washers, all that garbage. But these are the three components that are completely toasted, and they were not easy to get off, I'll tell you. So where do I go from here? Well, I've cataloged all the part numbers that I can see on the, the uh, toasted parts. Um, I'm going to check with a couple junkyards through carparts.com. I know I found one hybrid Maverick in a junkyard uh, that was in good shape the front end wise. So I'm going to check with them, see what their parts are. I'm going to price out Ford's pricing um, as far as the individual parts themselves. I know that the vein assembly thing I think is like seven or eight hundred bucks just for that one part. So we'll see. Um, that's going to be probably the hardest part. If I had the parts, I could put it back together probably in half a day or a day just because once you take it apart, it's a lot easier. You know how it works. Um, so, uh, it's going to be put to the side and I will let you know on the next thing that's going to happen. <clears throat> anyway, I'm worn out. I think I got a cold. This sucks. Uh, I'm going to go home, try to get rid of my jet lag from Italy and contemplate all the sweet parts I need for my little Mavi 2. <laughs> Appreciate you watching. Any questions, comments, post them below. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.